I'm Brayden and welcome to MGB Easy. Today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to replace the bearings in an MGB engine. And the first thing you have to do is you have to take off your oil pan. There are many nuts that go around the entire thing. Well, if you see all this shrapnel and it's, and it's just over, overrunning your engine like this, so if you look right here, you've got it everywhere. Uh, if you see a lot of the shrapnel, that means that you've chewed up a bearing. And that's just under these caps right here. Um, we're going to be showing you how to replace the main bearings and the piston bearings. A good thing to do is to not remove the head before the pistons because the pistons can drop out and I guess you would prefer not that for that not to happen. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to remove the oil pump, which is this mechanism right here. You'll notice three nuts and two bolts. You need to remove those and then the whole top part will come off. The three nuts are half inch, and the two bolts are seven sixteenths. One thing I need to mention is that you will want to use many bags like this one. You want to label them very clearly, and you can put all the nuts and bolts in there that go to the oil pump in this case, because you're going to want to put everything in the exact same place that you did before, just so you don't take any risks and it keeps them smooth and balanced. Once you have all the nuts and bolts off, there's a gasket, so you may need to use a screwdriver. I don't think I'll need to. Oh, no, I don't. And there are washers. I'm going to grab those. Okay, there we go. And you pull it off, and there's your oil pump. Now, if you plan on turning your engine over one more time, these will drop out, so you should remove them before you turn your engine. I'm going to do that now. And this is what it looks like revolver looking thing that's what I call it <laughs> this is what I like to call a persuader it helps us loosen heavily torqued nuts like this one when you put these back on you'll want to use a torque wrench so that they can get very tight and you can measure how tight they are getting one way to get these off is to tap these with a hammer and there you go. That was easier than I thought. And then you can see the bearings. Now, I just took off the number two uh, piston, and I'm going to label on this pipe F for front, two for what number it is, and then I can just set it right where that one is. And you can do that for every single uh, bracket. After opening it up, this is what we found on piston bearing number three. This is one of the causes of all the shrapnel. See, so we got oh, huge pieces coming off. So I'm going to need to rotate the crank shaft, crank shaft, just so I can get to number one and number four easier. And you want to be careful in rotating because these, if they've dropped off, they will get caught and it'll not let you rotate the crankshaft so they kind of stick on their own once you pull them up this one doesn't want to because we don't have the bearing on it okay you can hold it and then you want to get your trusty persuader out again with a what is this a what does that mean one through five sixteenths one in five sixteenths that's what I meant yeah Now that I've rotated it so that one and four are at the top, I can get to them much easier. So we have scoring, just a little bunch of lines in every single one of our bearings. So that means that our oil stopped flowing somewhere. Um, my dad says the oil pressure dropped while he was driving it when this first happened. So we probably have a clog somewhere. So the main bearings are located under these caps here, all these ones, and all five. And you don't want to remove those yet because you will need to remove this pulley 
and this back plate to get the whole crankshaft out. Um, I will probably be explaining how to do this in a later video. If you want to know if your crank can be machined again, because we, we need to do that to ours, there are some numbers on your bearings. Let's see if you guys can see it. This one, it's the very top number on ours, and it says 020. That means that our crankshaft has probably been machined once already, and we can go up to 40, so we could machine it two more times without having to replace the crankshaft. Um, uh, since we need to machine this, we will need to increase the size on the bearings, their thickness, to 30. And um, just a little helpful tip for you. You want to explain what happened? Yeah, don't drop your sockets in the engine. <laughs> I did it again. Okay, where is it this time? I'm bad at this. Again, don't drop your sockets in the engine. My dad just dropped a nut in the engine after I said two times not to drop things in the engine. And he got it. Good job, Dad.